nation, Stephen the damn God here. So I am in the middle of some dark, spooky looking woods, overgrown. These things are straight out of a horror film and I am searching for an abandoned hospital somewhere in these woods that apparently caught on fire a year ago or so. Luckily, I do not have to go through here alone. I am joined by the one, the only, what's up everyone? Prank from Franco TV. So we're gonna try and go through these woods. We kinda know where we're going, but that was during daytime. <laughs> we saw it on GPS, so I think we're gonna see if we can find it. Deep within these woods, there's cougars and bears, right? Yep, all different kinds of things in here. So we're gonna get going through these woods and hopefully we'll be able to find it tonight and don't get lost in the woods. So you guys hang in here. I'm let's get started. Oh, no. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. I think that this might have been, that the Google Maps might have been taken during summertime, so it might be hidden a little bit. Yeah, so we got to be looking around this general area. Yep. All right. All right, so we've been walking about uh, 35 minutes. Right? Yeah, give or take. Um, I don't think we're really good at using maps. No, Steve, <laughs> don't say that. Don't say that. We know where we're going. We're going to get there. We can't admit to being lost. You ever seen that thing where people are in the car and the man never admits, I'm not lost. Yeah, I'm well, not lost, damn it. I just need to know where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, like that movie Cars. Yeah. <laughs> we got the GPS. We can never get lost. Don't need to ask for directions. <laughs> oh, God. But uh, where are we? No, we, we actually are on the track. Yeah. I looked it up on the maps. Um, All right. If you keep going straight down this road, we should be getting close to some sort of subdivision type of thing. Thing is, is that I don't think they'll let us into the main entrance to the subdivision, so we had to come from behind. I had to take the sneaky route in. What are those markers for on the trees? Oh, no clue. If anyone in the here knows what these white markers mean, then please tell us in the comments below. Look, it says turn back. Where? Wait, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, I mean. This one says, oh, yeah. yeah, that is eerie. That is not creepy in the slightest. It feels like you're secluded in the middle of nowhere. I like this tree. Which one? This guy. Look at it. That little guy. All right. Look at the size of that place, Steve. Frank, th this thing looks so good on night vision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see a lot more. Oh. What you could, but just using a flashlight and a regular camera. Oh yeah. So let me get this straight about the his about this place. It kind of, from what I've read up on it, it was an old hospital that also w was a, something about like a a nursing school that shut down in the 80s, and the whole place burnt down last year. I'm seeing eyes up there, Steve. Yeah. Is what is it? Oh, it's a cat. It's like a little cat. Well, hey, that's a preferred type of person staying here. I'd rather a cat than a human. Oh, cat went on this way. Oh, she's gone. Mm -hmm. right. um, what's the objective? We want to find that. So you're just trying to look for an underground. Uh... I'm looking for the basement. So basically, I have never once been to a hospital that did not have a basement. So I am convinced that this place has to have a basement. So I want to find that. And that's what we're going to do. We're looking for a basement. All right, Steve. All right, so luckily we got our walkie-talkies. Yes. So once we get our bearings a little bit, we'll be splitting up cover more ground. Now, does this place have any spooky stuff going on with it? Uh, other than the graffiti over there saying 
we are in here and you will die pointing into a room over there. All right, Steve, well, let's split up. All righty, man. And uh, you call me on the radio if you see anything, if you catch your, uh, your thing. <laughs> All right, sounds good. I'm heading to the other corner of the building. Okay, sounds good, buddy. Be safe. Yep, you as well. Hey, do a quick radio check. Check, check. Check your deck. All right, folks. So a good place to start for me would be the you will die room and we are in here hello wow look at that Okay, now this place is taking creepy to a whole new level. I got you. I'm, I'm on the back end of the building. Look for a very, very tall building, like four stories. I'm about to go into the basement or the bottom floor of that. Climb through this window. One of my favorite things to do whenever I do urban exploration is graffiti hunt. Look for the prettiest graffiti I can. Oh, this is back end is an entire section of the building, but burnt down. We'll need to make sure we come back out here soon. But I want to see what's up top and how high. Hello?
This room doesn't even have any walls. Okay. I think we got another floor up. But I'm not sure. Let's go take a look. Excuse me, Mr. Dangler. Try and switch to night vision here. See what I can see below us. There's that courtyard he was talking about. So this, I'm gonna make my way down from the roof. So her, this hospital started out in the early 1900s as an asylum for the mentally unfit. What's up? Nothing. I heard voices, but that's you talking, buddy. I'm asleep. Yep, I'm up here at the top of one of the towers, if you can see me. Really? Can I get you up there? For sure. Um, is that your bright white light down there? That's me. I'm on my way over to Church Direction. Alright, I'll meet you in the basement. All right, let's go. Me Franco. But it was used as an infirmary, and was actually reported to be pretty haunted. Um, turned into a nursing school soon after. The it was in use as both until um, 1970, when the nursing school closed, and then the hospital closed soon after, near the end of the 70s. And within the last couple of years, it sadly caught on fire and. This is what we have left. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> what you doing there? Care to join me on it? Huh? That's the only way to get through there? Yeah. Alrighty. Uh. I was just showing you how. A flex how flexible a man can be to There's get no other way unless you walk around right here hold that for me What's up? <laughs> don't show me doing it no you can do it <laughs> there you go get that leg there you go get that leg up getting old mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Frank what so, whoa, he did this writing. Yeah, dude, remember how? Um, so this entire this is we're basically in the basement right now. I finally found my basement. This is the basement, yeah. This is about as close as you can get to a basement. I thought it was underground. It doesn't go down any further than this, as far as I know. Oh, isn't that like, isn't that, isn't that, uh, you know more about this than I do. Doesn't that, do you know what that is? That is an, a glyph. <coughs> it is, isn't it? That's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah, that's a sigil. I think that's what they call it. It's a marking. And here's something cool that I figured, found out. Oh my I haven't God. been through here yet, but I've realized it. So. Is that a... It's a kitty. I thought that was a pony. 
No, I actually no, I I really thought it was a problem. Oh, you got any excited then? I'll just start crying. So, I realized this. Um, I, I, so the staircase goes all the way up to the roof of this building, and I okay. noticed this is a continuation of the building that collapsed. This is a continuation? Yeah, this is collapsed. This part burnt down and collapsed. And judging by the trees that are growing in here, the fire must have been longer ago than I thought. Longer ago? Look yeah. At all this. Oh, that's a support beam. Yeah. The other one fell right here. But you could literally, I was up at that window, or that doorway when I noticed. Wow. Yeah, I was tempted to walk, but I didn't know where it went to. Oh, look at this. Wait. Oh, you wouldn't know about this. Oh, what, the ceramic insulators? Yeah, but do you know what these are for? These are the old knob and tube uh, electrical wiring. That's we got we got stuff like this at the dam, and I've always been curious about what oh, these are. Oh, that's that's an old way of electrical wiring that no longer exists today. Oh, oh, they have this at the Stanley Hotel. There's an oh. example of the knob and tube there, pristine. So it's amazing. I got you. Oh, wait, Frank. Oh my God. Frank, I, I I just became a very happy camper. Why? Come look. Oh. <laughs> That's the basement. That's the basement. So how do we get down there? That's a good question. Let's get out of here. That's not sure. Huh? Did you see light? No, no, I just don't want to. Attention. But we gotta figure out how to get down there, man. I agree. We're gonna have to take a roundabout and how we do I think we're right on the trail too. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. So let's see. We have to get to an area. You gotta be careful too. A lot of these could have a cave in tunnel. Yeah. Especially since we know there's a floor below us now. It's going to be here, please. Right. Okay. Yeah, I was making sure there wasn't like a staircase. Oh, down. is that a staircase, sir? That's how you went up, right? Yeah. Oh, it's concrete. All right, let's let's focus on where we're going. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Is it accessible? I think it's partially flooded. Oh, but there's still some sort of ground there. There's more access ways as it goes down. accessible. Oh, that smell though. What's the smell? Come in, you'll smell it. That's rot. I don't smell anything. Here. I noticed something. Let me get by. See? Oh. oh. found the smell. What is it? Some sort of a dead creature. Ugh. Oh. What is that? I don't know. Here, let me see if I can find somewhere for this to go and then I'll investigate.
Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's a good spot for it. Seems like this is like a chiller. Yeah. You can see the coils from here. This one's a heating unit. that is dude that thing's rotten oh yeah this is part of the chiller see the coils in the inside there mm -hmm. that was to cool down the hospital let's get out of here my feet are getting wet I gotcha. I'm gonna take a quick peek down I have waterproof boots all right I'm on my way back I knew there was a basement thermostat for it. See that thing goes all the way up to 300. That had to be for the heating unit. That used, that, that's probably for the, the boiler. that used mercury. Yeah. So you know what it is. Leave nothing but footprints. Nothing. Take nothing but killer YouTube videos. Fuck yeah. Try to. Hey. There's other ways down. Is that the same place? It goes down to the basement, but at different sections. I that every location I go to, there's a train. Is that another chamber? Two. Oh, no, wait. We don't have a roof in this section. No roof? No. Can we go up the staircase? Yeah. Uh, what's, I mean, that, what is this? There's one more area. Yeah. yeah. I think that goes to a second underground chamber, like a second basement. Mushroom. Or that is a mushroom. I don't know. <laughs> is it electronic There's or is it mushroom? Them. Hey, that has fuses in there too. Or still. You think it's like old twist power? fuses. This reminds me of a splinter cell. You go climbing up the spout at the top. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the top floor. For sure. Recording up here? Let's see. Yep. Right, Am I? Yeah, I can saw yours. Alright, cool. But I knew, I knew that we'd find a basement. Here's the old, ooh, um, what? old water supply for the fire system. For the fire department? A uh, sprinkler system, and maybe for the boiler. <laughs> now this is what surprises me. What? This is still here. Careful. Oh, that's not, this is not even powered. No, but all these electrical cables are still here. It hasn't been stuck. In here?
So right now, we're trying to make our way to the tower. There's a tower that's out here. Let's see if we can look around. So, I guess just watch your step. So, I'm guessing this whole area right here was like four stories tall all the way up to the top right there. Well, this whole thing is just rubble. This is all fell from the ceiling. Walls caving in on each other. Hey, lights. Oh, shit. Oh, you're good. I thought he was closer. Hey. And the reason I'm being very... Careful with the lights of people in this dangerous neighborhood here. Yep. What you looking for? Riding on it. I don't do that anymore. Oh, it's on the brakes. Yay! What? Steve. <laughs> Big Steve McGuire. Oh. Right. Ooh. Watch your step there. Trust that one step right there. I made a weird sound when I stepped in. Straight ahead. Oh yeah, this thing catches everything. She looks straight ahead. See that hole at the top? That's where we were just standing. Yeah. Alright, I think we got one more floor above us. Oh, 
I'm gonna open up the hole. There's no going back. What is that on top? That little on my pole. That? Yeah. Those look like lights. I wonder if this hospital ever had a helipad. Probably not on top of it. Were helicopters even invented? Huh. Around this time? Because I think this is a really old one. <sighs> yeah, they didn't really use them back in the 70s. What an adventure, huh? Yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this wonderful journey to this beautiful abandoned and destroyed hospital. It has been a pretty damn good journey, <laughs> even though we got a little bit lost. But Twisted ankles here yeah, and there. <laughs> have, you get those on your big job, so. <laughs> yeah. But make sure you guys like and subscribe and hit that little bell notification so that way you can see more damn content because trust me, there's a whole lot more to come. And if you aren't already, which most of you already are, but go ahead and subscribe to Franco TV. I will link you got his um, <laughs> name down below and wait for more content. Like and subscribe for Steven, please. <laughs> no, like and subscribe for Frank. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. <laughs> All right. We will see you next week. And from your friend, the damn God, and Franco, we wish you all a happy morning, afternoon. Bye, everyone. <laughs> evening or night. Bye.